<laughs> you got your helmet today, Kira? Yeah. We're gonna go check out a cave that's named after a human skull that was found inside of it in the 40s. We're gonna go check it out. There's there's a really old cemetery here. So do you think that somebody buried somebody in the cave, or do you think it could have been like Native Americans? Indian, or you think someone just buried someone in the cave because it's close to their graveyard? They didn't want to buy a cemetery plot. We'll see. Or There's people buried, cemetery. and this we'll go see how old can the graves get, are in the cemetery. I, can I get in it? The cave? Yeah, we're gonna go in the cave. And how many people out there know the difference between a graveyard and a cemetery? Uh, I do. What's the difference? Nobody here knows. Yes, I do. Nobody knows Kira the does. difference between a graveyard and a cemetery. What's the difference? Come on. There's one big thing. Ghost. Nope. Nobody? Graveyards at churches. Oh my god. Oh. I was about to say that. Didn't I didn't know. I was about I just to say that. The so let's go check out this cave. See if there is still a skull in it. I doubt there is. But we're going to go look anyways. What a fun day. It's like a Sunday fun day on a Monday because it's New Year's Day. They say what you do on the first day of the year is what you do for the rest of the year. So let's go caving, of course. Look at, I think this one right here is pretty old, Sherry. Yeah, I'll just have to pick the picture. Jason, right here, born in Ireland in 1760, mm. died in Marion County December 11th, 1864. That was during the Civil War. These are all unmarked tombstones, Kira. All of these through here. There's a bunch of people buried here, but there's no names, there's just stones. Here's another one that died in 1864. Here's one that died in Is it a kid? 1859. Is it a kid? Watch right here. There's, a There's another 1865. So, hmm, who knows? This skull that's in this cave or was found in this cave, could it have come out of this cemetery or could it have been native? Who knows? But let's go find the cave and check it out. So my friend Angel and I came out here last week looking for this cave and couldn't find it. So today I brought my secret weapon. I jokingly say Jason can just smell his way to the caves because he's kind of spoiled me. He always finds them. Can he scent a cave? I think he can. I think he can smell them. Jason's caving superpower is he can smell them. He can smell the entrance. Yes, that's native bamboo. That's not the invasive kind from China. This is native to Tennessee. Took him no time. He just said he found it. Not kidding. He's good at this stuff. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Here it is. I'm at it. Where did you buy it? That one now, came from the back 75 feet, Jasper area of loose rock. Yeah. Right or yeah, a human skull was found down. Is it near like a stream? Well, it says it's a, he lost the room. And then in the, the 1940s, the a, a human skull was found in this cave. <laughs> Ooh, it's like a ghost story almost, Kira, that a human skull was found here. Uh, I've got knee pads for a hundred foot long cave, Troy. Let me get down in this cave. Cool. Wow. Sherry's spelunking today. Yeah, definitely warmer. Watch your head. Hey, hey. So we just noticed there's a bat in this cave. Right there. Let's zoom in on it. That's where the skull was found? Yeah. Oh. Is it where Sherry's going? Yeah. I can't get it. There's a raffinesse bat on the ceiling right here. What? Raffinesse bat. Oh, There's a cobweb too. This is where I'm stopping, but you guys can keep going. Okay. Uh, I would. I'm just, I just, I just, I just Kira, don't. this is nothing. Yeah. So somewhere. Oh, 
somewhere back in this cave, a human skull was found. Interesting. Okay, Kira. This is the end up here, I think. What if we got stuck in the cave? Oh, we're not stuck. What if I get stuck? I'm scared, Kelly. Kira, there's nothing to be scared of, darling. I don't think I'm going to fit through that. I'd have to take my helmet off. I'm going to back out of here because this is just too tight. Yeah, what's it supposed to do next? Hold on. Go check out that squeeze. Oh, there's a fossil, a horn coral fossil. Where is this stupid cave that we're in? So a human skull was found the somewhere. In the dirt did not show any somewhere in this bones. passage. I did just find a fossil. That's a horn coral fossil. But somewhere in this passage is where a human skull, and only a human skull was found, or some type of spider, right there. But it ended over here, got really too tight. Yeah, this is a lot of loose, dry dirt. So somewhere in here, a human skull was found. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. It kind of makes me wonder, though, seeing the passage. Animal brought it in. Did an animal, maybe it got dug out of the cemetery. Brought in. That's and an exactly animal brought it in. It was found in here in the 40s, and we know the cemetery's been there oh, since the Civil War time frame and earlier. So that's my theory. But what happened to the skull? Who knows? It's probably on a shelf in a drawer somewhere at a university. I definitely think an animal brought it in here. No. Lots of animals have been in here, though. This cave don't move a lot of water. So no. Water, so this shit has been like this for a long time. And there's no human scratching that I've seen. Looks scratchy, but I don't know if it is. Let's see if there's any kind of signatures. That could be like a oh, raccoon. Yeah, it's recent. Like what about this way? Did anybody go this way, Troy? Here. Bottles in the cave? Yep. Real weird looking. Nah, there's no animals in here right now. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, definitely animals are bringing that in. That plastic. That could be old carbide in a baby bottle. That's what cavers used to do, was store carbide in a baby bottle. You know, the... Um, First cavers who explored this cave was Henry T. Kirby Smith in the 1940s. He would have had some type of carbide, Troy. He left it in here. Maybe so. So that one didn't go anywhere? No, it cut shops off. Pretty cool. Caves around here have a lot of human history. Ow, my elbow. Now here, here's a rocky, loose dirt area here. It's got no rock in it. A little bit of formations in here. Oh look, I found the top of a human skull right here. Look. Kill it, top of the human skull. This piece of glass. <laughs> but, but. <laughs> but. Oh, you found some mushrooms in the cave. You found a crystal skull. Yeah, that's what it is. That's cool, Kira. Or you still got the glass? 
I found oh. a skull's head that says wah, skull. Wah. It does look like the shape of a skull. <laughs> yeah. There's a bat above your head. So Sherry, Troy, and I conclude an animal brought the skull in. I agree. There's I so much the animal bat. debris in this cave. Oh, there's the bat right there. Well, we're kind of looking for any kind of, any signatures. Just trying to see if there's any signatures or any markings. Well, that just goes down right there. Pretty neat little cave. Happy New Year. So there you have it. This cave that was named after a human skull here in Marion County. Next to a cemetery. We definitely believe it was an animal that brought that skull in there.